Hey everybody, it's Brandy from Mary Tarawana. Today's date is 4-12-2019. I got a flyer. Just give me a second here. I swear. Probably something. So today's uh, read is a general tarot read. Uh, if it resonates with you, that's great. If not, it's not for you. Um, you can always check back in the other videos. Just because it's for today's date doesn't necessarily mean it's for today. Um, you, you know, they say like time is fluid. So that means that it could be, you know, your shit starting out from last week or whatnot. It just, it depends. Uh, so just shuffle in and... So let's hope that we got all the negative shit out of these cards. I saged, I blessed, I did this, I did that. Um, see what somebody's going through right now. Uh -huh. Ten of Wands reversed. Uh, somebody's weighted down, but they're not feeling that they're weighted down, you know. They have a very heavy load. But I think that you can handle this heavy load because you don't look at it like it's a heavy load, you know? So, let's just double check here. All right. Got to cut this deck. So, again, if it resonates with you, that's great. If not, don't make it fit, okay? That's, that's never good. You don't want somebody else's shit on you, you know. All right, so uh, today's tarot reading is, uh, again, general. Uh, it's for whomever it resonates with. If it doesn't work with or feel right to you, then it's not for you. So we already have the Ten of Wands. So what I'm assuming is uh, somebody has a really heavy workload, uh, a lot of responsibilities. Uh, it's just a lot of hard work. Uh, then you also have the star. Uh, now, with that being said, because it's in the reversal position, uh, maybe you should be a little bit greedier at work. Maybe you should be asking for a raise. You know, maybe maybe all of the, that hard work that you're doing does deserve you a raise, but if you're not going to ask for it, why are they going to give it to you? You know, that all has to go in with uh, the whole self-worth and whatnot as well. So, uh Brightness uh, could bring excesses, so be careful. So, you know, with if that is relating to work um, or the heavy load, whether it be work, relationship, or whatnot, I still say it really has to do with uh, a job. Um, you know, ask for that raise, you know, but also at the same time, you could be getting too many hours, too much work, and not enough pay for your time. You know, time is energy. Energy is time. It's very precious. You know, then you have uh, the Five of Cups. Uh, you have something that you can salvage. Um, you know, maybe I dropped one. I'll have to get that. Maybe your money losses, it has to do with taxes being deducted. You're working so much overtime, but yet you're not really being paid for overtime. You get what I'm saying? Because the government's getting that. That has nothing to do with whatever. Just... All right, so then you have the King of Pentacles. Pentacles has to do, again, with, like, money, IRAs, uh, retirement, uh, things like that. But this person, this king, whomever, maybe it's your boss, um, you know, maybe it's a family business, maybe it's an uncle. It's somebody that is authoritative. Um, I'm going to say that this person is a very stern, firm man. Uh, he's very powerful, especially in his business. Now, again, it could be a family business. It could be, you know, that's not for me to decide, but it does have to do with like work related issues. We got things just popping up strength um, and the hermit. So, with all that being said, this boss, this older authoritative figure, uh, might be a little arrogant, might be a little um, like stuck in his ways, might be conceited. Um, but then here comes this other person 
with the inner strength and the uh, inner strength I'm sorry uh, that can you know step to this king of pentacles this this arrogant person you know not necessarily put them in their place in a malicious way but you can confront them but still be professional and get your word across like slay them motherfuckers like my sister and my husband and uh, my bonus daughter they have a way with words like man phew, huh, if i could talk like that like i talk like this um even though i'm smart and professional and whatnot i can't talk like they do man they can fucking slay people with their words it might just sound mean theirs are like nice and like ugh, it's fucking awesome I dropped another one. So we have um, the Three of Cups. Celebration, bright happenings. But, you know, don't forget we have the Hermit as well. And he is in the reversal. So, you know, I think what it is is that you're feeling... I think that in your job or who, whomever this relationship, whether it's business, love, whatever it is... It is a lot of hard work, okay? You have all these tens of wands, ten of wands, all right? So, but it's in the reversal position. So you're thinking that even though it's a heavy load, it's not that big of a deal, right? So you see brightness, you see the good um, from whatever your hard work is. But at the same time, I think for some reason you're being underpaid or... Not that your self-worth is not good. It's just that you think that you should be doing all this hard work and that you shouldn't have to uh, be paid extra, maybe. Uh, maybe you're a really nice person. Uh, you know, you go above and beyond for others. Believe me, it, that is a great way to be, but people will take advantage of you. That's just how that goes, okay? So, you know, uh, the loneliness... Um, being unattached, I think that you're doing that because you don't want to get overly involved in that situation. Like, it's not that you don't want to be heard, but you don't want to approach that mean, arrogant, powerful person. Look, I, I've worked with doctors and, and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And as a, just a medical assistant, you're kind of like, oh my God, I got to work with the doctor, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. They're like these great people and they're like you know more knowledgeable that's not necessarily true now looking back in retrospect um sometimes this average james and joes are just far more knowledgeable or um you know have far more common sense uh than a doctor some people are just fucking book smart you know what i mean so anyway back to this uh you have the strength and the courage to approach that arrogant person it's just whether or not you will be doing it again I really think that it's some kind of relationship as far as, I want to say more work, but that's what I keep getting, but this could be, you know, like I said, however that hard work relates to you, all that time and energy and being underpaid, even though you don't feel underpaid or, you know, you feel like it's all right. Uh, the Three of Cups has to do with celebrating, uh, bright happenings, cups, emotions, joy, so maybe this weekend, you know, TGIF, maybe what you should do is just uh, relax or have fun with the people that you love, you know, your kids, your husband, your partner, whatever, whatever. Take some time out for yourself. You got all this hard work going on, all these emotions with this hard work. So I would say that today would be the day for some self-love. Um, you know, look, seven of pentacles, you know, all that hard work, um, you there's still more to be done. Um, you, you could sit back this weekend and take a look at it, but you still have to get back at it. Oh, the hanged man. Well, and he's reversed. So you know what you need to do. You just need to do it. Um, maybe you're waiting for like a week or a month. Maybe you shouldn't wait. Maybe you should just get up and do it. You know, um, you know what you want. It's just a matter of you going in, whether you're taking it or asking for it. That's you that, you know. Yeah, seven of wands. So all the frustrations, uh, you are able to overcome those frustrations, whether it be work-related. Again, it has to do with wands. Um, so I don't see these having to be decisions, just 
the frustrations with everyday life, you know, whether it be, fuck, I didn't get to dust today, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, but I did this and this and this, and, you know, it's, it's never ending. It, it's going to continue no matter what you do. So you are able to overcome this heavy workload or emotions, whatever. Again, I'm, I'm thinking that this has, is work-related. Uh, all that hard work, it will pay you off. Uh, you will, seven, sevens are powerful numbers. You know, and you have a lot of major arcanas already. You have the Hermit, you have the Strength card, you have the Star card. So these are big, big things going on. But it, like I said, this all looks like work-related relationships, business ships, whatever you want to call it. I think that you can overcome any obstacle if you can see the good, the positive, and the negative. It's, uh, you, you, um, life is what you make of it. Yeah, it's nine of swords, your fears and frustrations and letting go. It's like, you already know about all this stuff, okay? So these swords have to do with intellect, decisions, like choices, like, you know, really big matters. It's like, <sighs> page of cups. Let me just give me a second because these two don't make sense to me. Ah, so with your emotions and letting go of your emotions, this page of cups. So maybe this like, um, not a relationship. I don't want to say like unfair, but maybe this person, maybe you go out this weekend and maybe this, this young woman approaches you and is like, hey, let me take you home. And then, you know. You're over here like this, like, yeah, no, I, I know better. I better not. I better just, because she's going, or they're going to find out, and then I'm going to be fucked, you know. And then all this hard work that you you did, a, like, a, in your home, your personal life or whatever, you done fucked it up. So, I'd be careful with that. And then a knight of pentacles. So then, I would imagine that if you have too much fun with this page of cups, or over the weekends. I'm not really sure because this could be a week, a month, a day, whatever. You know. Uh, but then you have a young man coming. Or a masculine energy uh, with with news. Um, you know, with, with a message to share. So, let's just hope. Let's just hope that's not me finding out. And I have to go tell somebody about something. You know what I mean? Because... Yeah, let's just see one more. Ten of Swords, yep. Death or ending of a situation or a relationship. So that's what's gonna happen. You fuck around, you're gonna lose your, you're gonna lose your shit. You know what I mean? So I'd be really careful about uh, this Page of Cups energy, this uh, emotions, this don't like jump into something, don't make any crazy decisions. You just, now's the time to probably think about those crazy choices. Don't get too drunk. Don't get too high. Don't get too overly involved. Because something crazy is going to happen. So, alright. Well, that's all I got for you guys today uh, for the tarot. If you have any questions, concerns, hit me up. You know how to get a hold of me. Uh, that's all I got. So, have a great day and deuces.